Well, new tonight, further proof you never know what TSA agents are going to find when checking luggage at our Sunport. Monica Legrono looked into this latest uh, startling discovery. Monica, officers had to go through several layers before they actually got to this thing. That's exactly right, Tessa. TSA officers had to crack through a lead and plaster case to uncover a piece of a gun. It's something the agency says was artfully concealed by the passenger. The first line of defense are our officers who actually screen every bag that goes through. Patricia Mancha with TSA says these three officers stopped a passenger from bringing a banned item on a flight that was strangely wrapped. Back in October, we had a traveler who actually, uh, we call it artfully concealed a gun component. And uh, what happened was this component for a weapon was actually packed in plaster of Paris it had duct tape, it had clothes around it. This is what it looked like. It was wrapped in a plaster coating, duct tape, socks, and placed in a lead-lined cardboard box. The officer noticed something odd about this particular item and immediately called the lead supervisor. Uh, the lead person came in, they too noticed something strange. They called the next person in the chain of command. And so in this particular incident, the system worked. Officers asked the passenger what was inside the strange box. They said, oh, it's just film and it's probably no good so you can throw it out. Uh, but our officers noticed that, no, no, something's not right. So at that point, you know, most people don't say just throw it out, especially something that is wrapped large all those things. So at that point, they knew something wasn't right. When they finally got through all of those layers, they found an AR style upper receiver, a part of a gun. Guns, gun components and ammunition are not allowed in your carry on luggage, because if you have various components, then maybe you can assemble a gun. You know, if someone else has another component, we really don't understand um, what this traveler was trying to do. Mancha says more passengers are bringing guns into the Sunport. So far this year, TSA officers have found 11 already. Mancha says that's alarming because we haven't even gotten through January yet. Last year, officers found 33 guns in total. As a reminder, you can travel with guns, but they must be unloaded, packed in a hard sided container with a lock, and it must be declared with the airline. If you don't follow those rules, you could face up to a $15,000 fine or even be criminally charged. Tessa. And here I am worried I have too much lotion in my carry-on. All right, Monica, thanks for the breakdown.